Hey everyone, this is Josh Carney. I'm a recording engineer, musician, songwriter, educator, and lastly, a giant MIDI nerd. In this course, I'm gonna go over MIDI and logic, recording, editing, quantization, signal flow, events and messages, and some advanced topics as well. MIDI is fully integrated into Logic's interface and operation, and in my opinion, Logic is the most intuitive DAW when it comes to MIDI recording and editing. And this is no surprise, since the earliest predecessors to Logic, which were called Creator, Notator, and Notator Logic, were all exclusively MIDI sequencers, before there were also digital audio workstations. So if you think about it, Logic is really a MIDI sequencer plus a digital audio workstation, and most other modern DAWs are the same. MIDI stands for Musical Instrument Digital Interface, and it's a communications protocol, basically a computer language that was introduced in 1983 by Sequential Circuits founder Dave Smith. MIDI is not only just a computer language intended to communicate musical data between different devices, it was also a brand new standard for communicating those messages. In the early days of MIDI, it was primarily used for hardware devices, but this was easily adopted for software later on. The MIDI language was intended to be simple, but effective and easily adopted. This is what makes MIDI such a good standard for music production and why it's still being used today in mostly the same form as when it was originally introduced, with a few new standardizations and enhancements, of course. MIDI is universal, it's not just a Mac thing or a PC thing, and it's not restricted by the hardware or software you use. It's a simple 8-bit language that pretty much all digital hardware and software synthesizers understand. Without MIDI, you couldn't hook up a MIDI controller to your computer and play and record music, something that is so simple that we take for granted in modern DAWs today. MIDI and Logic allows you to record in musical data like notes, velocity, volume, and various continuous controllers on your MIDI controller too, like modulation wheel, pitch bend, and any knob or fader on your MIDI controller as well. This MIDI data is stored in Logic in MIDI sequences in the form of MIDI regions. The MIDI data itself does not make any sound, but tells the instrument you send it to what sounds to make. So join me in this course as I demonstrate MIDI recording, editing, quantization, and even some advanced MIDI features in Logic Pro 10.